presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to send colors and other formatting to alternate themes in Pro Presenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. One of the things that people have noticed is while it's great that you can have alternate themes in Pro Presenter 7 for any number of outputs, sometimes you'll make a change in the main theme that you would think would go on over to the alternate theme, but it doesn't seem to do it. So how do you get around that problem? Well, let's head over to my computer and we will take a look. So let's start by going into the sermon. And in this case, what I want to do is I want this output, which let's first off go into looks and um, just see what we've done here. Okay, so the I'm going to change this to none because we're going to do some stuff here in just a second. So... Let me select that. Okay, so in the main output, it looks like this. And notice the word loves is yellow to kind of highlight it. Wouldn't it be great if this was a lower third, if that would also uh, track over there? So let's uh, select one of these other outputs. Same thing. Has the yellow there, but it's not a lower third. So if I were to apply an alternate theme to it, going into Edit Looks, and going to, um, let's put the alternate theme on the alpha output this time, and let's just do the, um, let's see here, lower third new. So when I do that, notice that the word loves is white now. might be a little hard to see, but it's there nonetheless. So how can we fix that so that the color is the same? Or what if we wanted to highlight multiple words on one and uh, fewer words on the other or what have you? Well, let's do this. By the way, Credit where credit's due, this is a hack that came up uh, that um, Brad Zimmerman, who does the official Pro Presenter tutorials, came up with. I just wanted to clarify a couple of things. And some people f prefer my teaching style to his. So if you prefer his, then head over and uh, watch his version. So all that to say, let's right click and go into Edit Slide. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and I'm going to paste it down here in the notes section. So I copied it and I pasted it down here in the notes section. So now when I go back into show, it's still the same way. That's because what I need to do is I need to do two things. First, I need to create a theme where it does not show the main text and does show the notes text. Then I need to apply that alternate theme to this alpha output. So let's go do just that. So we're going to go into uh, theme editor. And I've already done some of this, but let me show you how I did it. I'm going to click a, on a new one. This is in the 4.2 theme that I've been working with in other tutorials. And so what I'm going to do is, first off, I'm going to say, for this text, let's not show just the regular text if it has text in it. So when so the visibility, all of the following conditions are true. It's just one condition in this case, but one is it's fine for all. If text has text, 
right now it's set to show it. So let's say it doesn't have text. So it will show visibility, that's true, if all the following conditions are true, that this text box has text. So, or does not have text. So if it doesn't have text, it'll show the text box, and we won't see it. If it does not have text, it won't show the text box, and we won't see it. Why would we do that? Well, ProPresenter 7 wants to show the text if a, the text box is visible in the main theme. So we have to go through the trouble here of telling it, no, no, we don't want it to do that. And normally, you, that makes perfect sense that we, we would want it to show text in both places. But this is kind of a hack. So let's add another text box. And this text box is going to be our lower third text box. So let's put it down here. And uh, just to make it similar to the one that I have um, showing right now. I'm going to fill that with blue. Um, I'm going to actually click right here. Let me hide myself for a second. I'm going to turn down the opacity just a bit. You can see through on this uh, checkerboard pattern that it is transparent. Partially. You know, it's not fully opaque. It's not completely transparent. It's translucent. So that's good. Now let's um, also, I'm going to just type some example text in here, and I want to add a stroke to it just so that the text itself pops out. So I'm in the text here, adding a stroke. That's a line around the letters. If it was in the shape, Text uh, tab here, it would be a line around the box. So I'm going to add, make sure that's maybe two or three pixels wide and that's black so that it pops and we should be good to go there. Okay, so let's go back to show and let's go into uh, edit looks and now we're going to change this alpha from the one that it's on to the four to, this is the one that I just created. So change it to that. And now let's go into here. Oh wait, I remembered that I forgot to do something. So let's go back into theme editor and now what we want to do is we want to select this and select link text and I've already done this but you'll need to select current slide notes you'll have some other choices let's say notes is the one you want and make sure preserve notes formatting is selected so now if we go into show When we go to the alternate output, you'll see that it, in fact, is following where it wasn't before. So any change you make in the notes, let's right-click, edit, slide. And let's say we want to for the lower third, change that to yellow. Notice how in the main one it's not yellow, gives isn't yellow, and in the alternate one it is. So now if I go back to show and click on it again, now you see that gives is also um, yellow, whereas on the main output, which is the lyrics output here, it's not. 
So that's how to do that trick, how to either transmit the exact same formatting with colors and such to a secondary theme that is uh, formatted a little bit differently, or how to change a few more words, give or take. Don't know why you would want to do that, but if you do, that's how you would do it in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So just head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Fill out the information there. It's like, I think it's just your name and email address so that I can make a login for you. That's all done automatically and it'll be sent to you so that you can take part in that course. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.